handful of ingredients like coriander, olive oil, tomatoes, butter beans of course, lemon, garlic, and herbs turn this into an incredible dish. Rinse the beans well and let them drain while we prepare everything else. And check out my new kitchen trick to remove garlic skins in a snap. This recipe calls for a surprising amount of garlic, so mince up five cloves. And finely grind one tablespoon of fresh coriander seeds. Now zest two lemons until you have about a half a cup. Use either dried thyme or fresh thyme like I am and mince up about one tablespoon. Now grab the meatiest, most flavorful tomato you can find and use a box grater to really easily grate the tomato and leave the skin behind. I first learned this trick from Chef Jose Andres and it works like a charm. Add some sea salt and pepper to heighten the flavor and set it aside. We'll be using this for the finishing touches. It's time to start putting it all together. Add three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil to a pan over medium heat. Add all the garlic and the rest of the aromatics. We're going to cook these for about 25 minutes until the garlic is meltingly tender. I like to boost the sauce with a half a teaspoon of sea salt flakes, a few sprigs of fresh rosemary from my garden, and a healthy tablespoon of tomato paste. Stir it all together and let it cook down for about 20-25 minutes. This part is going to require some patience, but it's worth it. Before the sauce is almost done, I like to add a little bit of Aleppo pepper to give it a bit more spice, but this is entirely up to your own taste. Now we're ready to very gently pour the butter beans into the pan and carefully stir them into the sauce. You don't want them to break up while they're cooking. And even though these beans are really already cooked, we want them to absorb all the wonderful flavor from the sauce and get really creamy. So cook them over medium heat for another 10 minutes or so. And meanwhile, slice a little bit of fresh baguette. They already look good enough to eat, but we're not quite done. It's time to put the grated tomato to use, nestling little bits of fresh tomato in between all the beans. You can serve this hot or room temperature. You can eat it right away or save it for tomorrow. It's such an easy dish to make ahead. And I think it's even better when the beans get more time to really absorb all the flavors. If you really want to learn how to eat the Mediterranean way every day, there's actually a few more quick go-to staples that make fixing any healthy meal easier. So don't ignore this short playlist if you want to build up your own Mediterranean kitchen skills.